crazy because I could have sworn I was hearing J. Cole in that moment telling me. Don't save her. She don't want to be saved. Don't save her. Man, what's up, y'all? What it do, man? It's your boy, Kanu, bro. And I ain't bro today. We gonna react into another one of my boys' video. Eli So Fly. It's an unfortunate tale of a born simp. Aye, my bro, my bro, my bro, my bro, my bro. Let's see what this story unfolds, man. Ain't nothing wrong with simping, but there is something wrong. Bitch, that ice spice. With simping for the wrong girl. The problem is, a lot of the times you go into it with the I gotta save her mindset. And as Jermaine Cole would say, I, don't I, save her. I was about to say that. She don't wanna be saved, don't save her. She don't wanna be saved, don't save her. She don't wanna be saved, don't save her. She don't wanna be saved, no room out to speak up. She doesn't wanna be saved. And this is coming from a dude who doesn't get women. If you couldn't tell. Don't feel bad, bro. I don't get them either. I guess that's why I make YouTube videos all the time. I, I, I don't get women. So, you know, I just stay at home, play the game, you know, being a nerd, you know. For my video catalog, you can probably tell from the fact that I somehow managed to go through two heartbreaks in one year from women who I wasn't even in a relationship with. You can't save someone who doesn't want to be saved. Like, it's times like this where I imagine if this is how Jesus feels every time an atheist chooses to deny his existence. Now <laughs> I'm a born simp, but I'll die better than that. I swear. But not yet. I'm a dreamer. That means I listen to J. Cole more than an adult film star goes to get facials. If we talking about my hip hop top five, it's J. Cole, Jermaine Cole, Jermaine Lamar Cole, Young Simba, and then Kendrick Lamar. I'm Hello, I got something for you, bro. I got something for you. I got something for you. Hello, let me see, can I find it? Let me see, can I find it? Let me see, can I find it? I got you, bro. I got you. I got you, fam. I got you. I got you. I got you, man. It, it's the real deal. It's the real deal. I got you, man. It's the real deal, you know? Ow! It's the real deal. It's the real deal, you know? I forgot this thing came in, too. But yeah, it's the real deal, fam. I got you. I'm probably the bro. Why you on my man like that, bro? Pause. Why you on my butt like that? Biggest J Cole fan you'll ever meet, and with that, it would be pretty easy to use that to take advantage of me. J Cole had just dropped his album the off season. Ba -ba, ba -ba, uh, off season. And I'm scrolling Instagram. I saw that J Cole had just announced that he was going on tour. I'm hyped. Because this is my chance to fulfill my lifelong dream of seeing J. Cole live. Like, I was ready yesterday. I already have my Dreamville shirt laid out with my crisp dollar. Signing to be signed by the greatest rapper of our generation. Who is Aubrey Graham? I was going to put that thing in a frame. It was going to be like when Mr. Krabs framed his very first dollar. So me being hype, I screenshot it and post it on my Snapchat talking about how hype I am to go. This girl slides up and proposes the idea of going together. Bitch, I don't know what it does, AJ to P. Smith. Now, me and this girl I've never met, but I did know of her through mutual friends. But I'm down for new experiences and meeting new people. What's the worst that can happen? I don't want to talk. Go home. I said. We're going to watch an Eli So Fly video and then you can leave. A couple days pass and then it's time for the ticket drop. I never saw Jeffrey Dahmer. And I'm trying to coordinate with her on what tickets we're getting. I'm not going to lie. She was making it kind of difficult. And I was at work at the time. So I told her I'll just buy the tickets and you cash at me. Keep in mind, I'm broke. I was working at Dick's. If I don't get that money back, I'm going to be down on my last leg i know i'm too trusting that's part of the problem i have a good heart so i like to give people the benefit of the doubt and think that because i'm a good person they'll be a good person too 
Sadly, this isn't the case. I get off work and ask her about sending the money for her ticket and she says, can I pay you back when I get paid? I have to pay my bills. I promise I'll pay you back and I'll even buy you food when we go. So let me get this straight. You proposed the idea of going to this concert knowing you didn't have enough money for a ticket. You really had a dollar in a dream because you really thought I was going to buy your ticket with the hopes of getting my money back in a $10 meal? Sounds like a great idea. Like I said, I'm a good person. I like to give people the benefit of the doubt. So I'm talking to this girl and I find out that she just broke up with her ex like literally two days prior. Hmm. Highly suspicious. She starts telling me how trash of a guy he is and how he's cheated on her and baby what the hell does this guy do with j cole like you trying to go to the goddamn concert and all i'm thinking hmm could she be using me to get back at her ex nah there's no way i like to give people you already know what i'm about to say but deep in my mind i'm still not completely comfortable with going to a concert in a different city with a complete stranger so I told her we should hang out before the concert. She agrees and we set a time and day to meet up. The day comes for us to meet and she ends up texting me and telling me she can't make it because she works late. Hmm. If you would your aunt, just say that. Highly suspicious. But nonetheless, I give her the benefit of the doubt. I ask her, when is she going to be free again? no reply to be precise no reply for a week it's crazy because i could have sworn i was hearing j cole in that moment telling me don't save her she don't want to be saved don't save her she don't want to be saved don't save her she don't want to be saved don't save her she don't want to be saved at this moment i had an epiphany an awakening of what really happened I just got finessed for J. Cole tickets. So you know what I did? I sold them because of the principal. You think you finna get one over on me? Nah. And two days after I sold the tickets, guess who post on their story with their ex? Bro, I'm not gonna even lie to you, man. I would've just asked somebody else they wanna go. I was like, hey, I got a free ticket. All you gotta do is ride with me, fam. We go see Jekko, cause bitch, I be down. You made me meet Jekko. Moral of the story: At the end of the day, maybe I should stop simping. Ah, uh, who am I kidding? It's most likely gonna happen again. I like how these bros put Bible verses in the end of their videos. Kind of boosting up. But bro, that was Eli so fine, man. But yeah, y'all know we gotta represent. You know, it's Jermaine Cole, man. Jermaine motherfucking Cole. Shit, the man that got down be spin like a motherfucker, man. J Cole really the only rap I can sit there and just put on. Even I ain't never heard of J Cole. They're like, oh, J Cole in this song. Oh shit, so they give me the thing. I'm vibing with it, bro. I'm vibing with it. Like, all right, J Cole. Mm -hmm. I just be vibing with. I'm like, I'm like you, you heard this song? I said nah, but you know J Cole, he gonna always deliver, fan. He gonna always deliver. But if y'all like this video, man, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, comment down below, y'all wanna see, and we y'all boy. And make sure y'all check out my boy Eli So Fly channel.